Uh, in this video, I'm going to be trying out Playwright, which is uh, a new, not really new, but it's been around not too long, end-to-end uh, -to -end testing framework. And uh, you can use different programming languages. I use TypeScript mostly, and uh, it's sort of on the documentation for end-to-end -end testing on the Next.js docs. And there are just two options that are here. So one is Cypress, which is pretty popular. It's been around for a pretty long time. And then Playwright. But in this case, I'm going to be using Playwright. And to get started, I think a lot of people already have an existing Next.js project. And in my case, I already have a Next.js project, which, which has been a guinea pig for quite a while. I just use it to test out something and uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's just a guinea pig for a lot of testing. And all we have to do is add a package, playwright tests, and then add a command to our scripts, which is going to be tests, E to E, which will run playwright tests. And then in here, there's like an example of navigating to the about page and checking if the URL changes to the, you know, slash about and checking that the text on the page has a about page. Anyway, let me go to my code and uh, sneaky me, I've already, you know, done this and this is my guinea pig project and uh, really throw things at it. And to get started, you know, I can go to your terminal, run, I'm using yarn, you can use npm, yarn, add uh, playwright, and I've already run this command, I've already run this command, and expect, obviously, right, uh, the playwright package to be added, and uh, once that is done, once that is done, you have to configure the uh, playwright. So you can add a playwright.config. Uh, I'm using TS. Uh, you can use JavaScript. It's got to be the same. Uh, for some reason, my IDE doesn't pick up the package. Uh, but if I just maybe restart it, it will, you know, the ES link here will disappear. Uh, but the configuration is pretty basic. Uh, this is one you would get maybe on the um, maybe playwright uh, documentation and uh, it, the most important aspects I guess is the best URL so this is the URL where the application will be running and then the browsers I'll be testing against so this Chromium for desktop, Firefox for desktop, WebKit for like desktop, Safari and the mobile I'm just testing the mobile uh, Chrome version on a Pixel 5. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of configurations. And then uh, there is like a test example, which is pretty basic. Uh, so once I have the application running, I have to go to the root of the application. Uh, so I've already added a config. The best URL is this. If I go to the root, I will try to click a text that says agree and I'll show that in a moment and then uh, after that click a text that has about us and uh, expect to be redirected to the contact us and then also on the contact us expect a text that has contact us so it's a pretty basic test just to get started and uh, I'm gonna run like a command instead of tests uh, I'm gonna run the UI so I can do yarn uh, tests e to e and then pass in the option UI so this will show like the UI interaction of that test uh, just for like the visuals and here is my test runner I can click the test so that it sees that there is one test here which you know they fail and I can see here that there's an error connection because I'm not running the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and run my application in a different environment. Okay, I think I'm using the right version of Nod and Yarn Dev. Yeah, I've run Yarn Dev here. 
uh, and then I'm gonna go back to my playwright test runner try this again and uh, yeah it goes to the home page goes through all the steps and it looks like they passed and I can go to the like the actual test which it should navigate to the about page or the contact us page I'm not sure and then I can also see the steps so there is a before you know like a before hooks that are run so like running the browser getting the context getting the page uh, and then going to the root so this is the step takes about four seconds and then I click on the agree so on the page there is a, a cookie notice that automatically opens up and uh, I have to click on that before I can go to this about page because if I miss that step it's gonna be blocking uh, because there's like an overlay over the entire page and I can't click anything else and then I click on the about page which takes about 24 milliseconds to complete the process and then I go to the yeah I check the URL to see if it has changed and I can see that I have changed to contact us at contact contact us page and then check if a text code contact us is there and it is there and uh, that's pretty much it so that's the tests and uh, I like it it's it's pretty good uh, it's pretty similar to what you would have in Cypress but the other cool thing that I want to show you is uh, just give me a second yeah the other thing the other cool thing about playwright is we can run something pretty cool so I'm gonna do yarn no my node version is pretty weird it's it's uh it's an old one so anyway the cool thing that I wanted to show you is the code gen where I can run this playwright command so playwright I think it's just code gen I have to look it up code gen uh okay, npx playwright code gen hmm. I'm not quite sure let's see if that's the one okay that's not the one let me just google it okay I'm back it seems I just <laughs> it was a typo I really didn't pay attention to that so it's a typo it's uh, npx playwright cogen and then this is a pretty cool tool basically we can generate tests so you can see here it brings up this pretty cool UI and then it takes me to like a blank page a Chrome instance with a blank page and I, I can go to localhost uh, localhost localhost 3000 and look at that it it is just generated code uh, to go to localhost and I can do like interaction so I can click agree here uh, you know this is a uh, the same code that I would otherwise put in my tests and let's see what else yeah I wanted to check the about page and I click on about and I get redirected to this about page and I can also check the contact us and look at this it has generated the code which is not very different from the code that we wrote and if I go back to my code sort of uh, compare this to I can see that you know the first thing that I do is go to the root directory you know it takes me to the root directory even though this one you know there is no best but I've already removed that and then the second thing is I click on a text code text agree and in here uh, it does the same thing but it gets like by role and name so it's much more exact <laughs> Um, the other thing is we can also add test ID so if I added a test ID it would instead of you know getting this by like button role and name uh, it actually gets the test ID and then the next one is just click on a link called uh, about us and in here I don't really specify but it's better to specify or just add a test ID for that unique component and then uh, but the cogen doesn't write assertions so it'll just you know 
generate all these steps and then I have to write assertions. So here there are two assertions like expect the locator uh, with h1 tag to contain this text blah 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 but this is pretty much it and uh, I hope you enjoy the video.